This fire soaking disc is full of scripture about the fiery presence of God. I created this disc specifically so that the fire would burn up the chaff that's inside your soul that's allowing serpents to attack you and also to drive them out of hiding. So as you pray along to this, or even soak to it at night while you're sleeping, expect to see visions and have dreams about certain serpents that have been afflicting you that are now being driven out into the open where you can see them. If you see the head of the serpent, use your faith to do a prophetic act and grab the head of that serpent, pull it off your body, your finances, or wherever else it's attached, and then throw it into the abyss, command it to burn, and to never return. Jeremiah 23 Is not my word like a fire, says the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces? Lord, I decree as I speak your word, it will release fire. For Jeremiah 23 says that your word is like fire. It's so powerful. It is like a hammer that breaks the rocks in pieces. I decree that on this disc, as I continually decree your word, fire will be released. And it will act like a hammer breaking in pieces every wall that the enemy has built around us every structure the enemy's built in us, every stronghold the enemy has formed in us, every bit of wounding inside of us that it's allowing the enemy to assault us. As I speak the word, it will become like a fire and it will break forth against all the enemies in our soul. Psalm 104, he makes his angel spirits, his ministers, a flame of fire. Angels are ministering spirits sent to minister to those who receive salvation. We are those people. The Bible also says that angels hearken to the voice and the word of the Lord. As I decree his word in this disc, The angels will hearken to the word of the Lord and go and minister to those who need help. The angels will go and minister healing, deliverance, and help to those who are in need. I decree these angels will appear as Psalm 104 says they will. Ministers who manifest in flames of fire. Lord, surround us with angels made of fire your flaming servants sent to bring their holy fire that will burn up the chaff in our souls and drive demonic serpents out into the open where we can see them and get rid of them for good. We receive the ministry of your flaming fiery angels now in the name of Jesus. the Amplified Bible. And when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all assembled together in one place, when suddenly there came a sound from heaven like the rushing of a violent tempest blast, and it filled the whole house in which they were sitting. And there appeared to them tongues resembling fire, which were separated and distributed, and which settled on each one of them. And they were all filled diffused throughout their souls with the Holy Spirit. Father, I decree that you're coming once again, like the day of Pentecost, to send down your dunamis fire from above. Fill us with your fire, Lord. Father, as we tarry waiting for your presence to come, We know that you will manifest yourself in the form of dunamis fire. Jesus said that when they waited in the upper room, that power would come down from above and clothe them. That word power is the word dunamis, which means excellent of soul. So when the fire comes, we become excellent of soul. I decree right now, the fire is coming. It's diffusing into your soul, 
causing you to become excellent of soul. Every wound inside of you now is being burned up by the power of the Holy Spirit and fire. I decree tongues of fire are settling on you, distributing into you and diffusing into your inner man, changing you, healing your mind of everything you have in common with the serpent, healing your will of everything the serpent is using to control you, healing your emotions in every area that the serpent has used as a legal landing strip to assault you. You are being filled with fire, holy fire diffusing into your soul right now. Believe it and receive it. And as the fire continues to burn and burn and burn, it is burning up every bit of chaff in you that's allowing any demonic serpent to assault you. I decree this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Malachi 3.2 But who can endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and a launderer's soap. I decree the fire of God is coming into your soul, diffusing into every part of your inner man to refine you, to perfect you, to cleanse you, to change you, and to transform you. You are becoming excellent of soul because of the dunamis fire of God. It's refining you and acting like launderer's soap. You're being cleaned up of everything you have in common with the demonic serpent. You're being cleansed and washed of everything you have in common right now because of the refiner's fire. Lord, we receive that fire into our souls right now. Refine us, cleanse us, purify us, and heal us and deliver us of every evil serpent that's afflicting our lives. In Jesus' name. Malachi 4 For behold, the day is coming, burning like an oven, and all the proud, yes, all who do wickedly will be stubble, and the day which is coming shall burn them up, says the Lord of hosts, that will leave them neither root nor branch. But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall-fed calves. You shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. Lord, we decree the day is here that is burning like an oven. And every proud thing, every wicked thing in our inner man shall be like stubble. The day is here that shall burn them up with your fire and remove everything inside our soul that's displeasing to you, that's allowing a legal landing strip for the enemy. When your fire comes burning like an oven, it will leave neither root nor branch. I decree right now that the very root of every issue in our mind is being burned up with fire, fire, fire. I decree that every issue in our will that's allowing serpents to control us is being burned up right now with the fiery presence of the Lord. I decree that every root in our emotions that's causing issues and allowing us to be assailed by the demonic realm is being burned up by your all-consuming fire. 
Lord, your fiery presence, as it burns in our soul, will leave neither root nor branch. Then the Son of Righteousness will arise on you with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like a stall-fed calf, and you will trample the wicked. I decree you will trample every single demonic serpent that's assaulting your mind, that's assaulting your will, that's assaulting your emotions. I decree you will trample every single demonic serpent that's causing sickness in any part of your body. I decree that you will trample every serpent that's afflicting your money, your household, your family, your marriage, your ministry, your church, and every other area of your life. Malachi 4 says, You shall trample the wicked, for they will be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day the Lord of hosts shall do this. Yes, he is coming with fire, burning like an oven, and causing every snake to be burned up completely to where they're nothing but ashes under your feet. I decree you will trample on the serpent. They will be burned with fire. You will have total victory. And nothing in your soul will be left to allow them to attack you because the fire is burning up all roots, all branches inside your inner man. I decree it right now. Every wicked thing, every proud thing in your soul is being met with fire. Fire. Fire, fire burning up inside your soul right now in the name of Jesus.